All right, this is uh, Peter uh, showing you how to do a lead form. Now, unfortunately, I recorded this video and something went wrong and I recorded a wrong screen. So I have uh, done this video once and I've set everything up. Uh, so unfortunately, I, I will uh, go through. I, I don't want to repeat everything I've done. So I will hopefully go through uh, what I did and um, you can follow along with me. So the idea is to set up a um, ad like this and then when you press learn more it will go to a um, Facebook page uh, actually sorry I've got another uh, yeah so this is the ad that we're trying to create and when you press learn more it'll open up a <coughs> window like this to import uh, gives you some details about the um, meditation retreat and it will allow people to import their email full name and phone number and populate it and submit that to you so that you can give them a ring and try to get them on the retreat. Now you can just boost your event. I'm sure that if you uh, do a workshop or a retreat you'll create an event for that so you can boost that but this way is a much better way because it gets people's details and you can follow up with them. So the way we do that is you create a campaign and uh, I'm going to show you the one you want here is lead generation. So you create this lead generation account. It'll ask you if you want split testing and that just ignore that for the time being unless you want to research on how to do that. Um, but uh, that's the one you want. I won't do it because I've already created this account. Um, but the, this is the, the type of uh, thing you'll, you'll get. Um, and you can call your account the meditation retreat. By the way, this is for retreats or workshops. If you're doing a leader's workshop, you can do the same thing. Then you'll create, then it'll ask you all the details of your audience. And that's handled in what's called an ad set. <clears throat> and um, yeah, this audience is 30 plus in South Australia. Um, so uh, it'll also ask you for a budget. I've set uh, $10 a day or $70 a week. Um, and you'll have a chance to set your custom audiences. So if you haven't done an audience before, you need to create one. Uh, my audience is just South Australia, the state where I live. Um, typically, I only have one big city, which is Adelaide, uh, which is where most of the population is. But occasionally I do get people coming from the country to come onto one of our retreats. You can set the age limits. The people that come on my meditation retreats are typically 30 years and older. So I've just set at targeting them. Um, and I've put interested in meditation or yoga. Uh, you can add in uh, other things um, as well to try to reduce this, this amount. But it, there's 220,000, which is great. But if you can niche it down to fine tune your target audience, uh, that, um, you know, the, the more you can target your audience, the better. Um, so once you've uh, done all of that, you're ready to put in the ads and you'll need to upload one or two different images. I've got that image and I've got this image. <clears throat> I think they'll both do as well as each other, but you can put them in so that Facebook can work out which image is, is performing better. Uh, I don't think there'll be much difference in the image, but have a couple of uh, people meditating in a class, you can try that. Then uh, you need to put in a headline, which comes down here, a text, which is here, and then the newsfeed link, I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, so I've put that on the bottom here, you see uh, where it is, Glen Osmond, Adelaide, December uh, seven to nine. So, um, and then you can choose from a number of different buttons and 
Um, I've put learn more. I find that probably uh, works the best. And then importantly, you want to send them to this lead form. Because it's a lead generation form, you need to put in uh, this lead form. And this is, this is critical. So I'm going to just show you this. Um, I'll see if I can. Oh, so new form. Um, so here you can see there's all of these different areas. The, the, the intro, which is what you're going to put on, the questions that you're going to put on your, uh, uh, so, you, or the so you can write a paragraph, or what I did was bullet points, and I made uh, five bullet points. So you can see that over here. Um, where did I put it? In here. Uh, here are the bullet points. Two and a half days of insightful teachings, accommodation in the luxurious surroundings, yummy healthy food, yoga two times daily, and suitable for beginners to advance. So you could put in there a meditation um, paragraph on the meditation retreat, etc. Then you also want to put in there uh, questions and email, full name, and really importantly, you need to put in their phone number. Okay, so you need to click phone number so you get their phone number so that you can ring, ring them again. And then a privacy poly, pro policy, there'll be an automatic disclaimer, but you can put in your own disclaimer if you want to. And then a thank you screen, and you will uh, click it so that it goes to your website if you've got a web page. I've got a sign up page and a shopping cart for people to book in. So for people who have filled out their names and details, they may go straight through and sign up. Probably not. You'll need to ring, ring them and twist their arm, uh, but possibly it'll go through. Okay, now I'm going to try and delete this because, as I said, I've already created this. Um, I don't want to make any changes. Uh, I think all I did was change the, the heading. Um, oh, that's published. Anyway... Um, and that's how you do a lead form. Uh, there's tracking, you don't need tracking. Now once you've done your lead form, okay, and you've, uh, you've set it, you'll see here one column which says results. And after a few days, uh, I might come back and add on to this, you'll see some numbers of people who have shown interest. And at that point you click this lead form and it will show you uh, you can download a CSV file of the names and phone numbers of the people who have shown interest. And then you'll get on the phone and call them up and see if you can persuade them to come to your workshop or your retreat. So I hope that uh, helps. That is um, a quick explanation of how to create um, a lead form. As I say, you can just do an ordinary post and send them to a web page, or you can do an event, um, an event on Facebook and send them to that event with all the details, and then from there, links on how to sign up. But I find this is the best way because you get their phone numbers and you can follow them up. It is more work. Um, a lot of the people that you phone up will have only just they just see it and they have no intention of coming, but they click submit anyway just to see what happens. Um, and um, so anyway, it'll take a bit of work uh, ringing people up, but hopefully one in 10 or one in 20 will show serious interest and will, will want to come to your retreat. If you have any questions, email me or put comments if there's a place to do so below. Uh, and I look forward to answering your questions and I hope that helps you in setting up a lead form to advertise your retreat or workshop.